Reverend Father Marcel Livinus, the parish priest of St. Augustine Catholic Church, Sun City Estate, Abuja, has called on Christians, especially those in Nigeria, to be Marian devotees and to seek her intercession on the plight of the Nigerian workers. He gave the call during an interview with the Catholic Television of Nigeria at the church premises of St. Augustine, Sun City Estate. In this month, every Catholic must make sure that he or she devote time in praying the Holy Rosary and calling on the maternal intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Especially in our country Nigeria today, people are working and as, as I said, they are not working. They are not making ends meet. They are working. They are not seeing the fruit of their labor. People work for months without receiving the wages of their labor. In some states in Nigeria, workers have not been paid for the past 11 months. This is a kind of situation we find ourselves and we can only overcome it if we put everything into the hands of God. And the only person who has a very special way to the heart of God, to the heart of Jesus, is the Blessed Virgin Mary. So when we call upon her and hand over these situations unto her maternal care, she knows what to do for us. And surely it will come out successful. Reverend Father Marcel Venus further encouraged all workers to emulate the attributes of St. Joseph the Worker. Again, also for all workers today as we pray, we look at St. Joseph, model of workers, patron of workers. Many today find it very difficult to get their work done. Many find it difficult to accept even the kind of job or work that they do. They forget that the one who actually took care of Jesus worked uh, in, a, in a kind of labor that was seen as the most minimal at his time. But because of the devotion he gave to his labor, he was widely known as a carpenter. And he taught Jesus also that same trait of carpenter. Jesus Christ learned from St. Joseph. And that is why St. Joseph had been well applauded and raised to the role of being model of all workers. So we are called also to emulate St. Joseph in our daily duties at our different places of work. There is no work or labor that is not a service to God and humanity. So we must accept first of all whatever we do as a service to humanity. And it is God who blesses the work of our hands. So if we accept first of all what we do as a service to humanity, we are going to render it to humanity with every amount of dedication and sacrifice. And when we do this, surely we are emulating St. Joseph, who worked tirelessly for the interests of Jesus and of Mary. And also today, when we do our own works well, we are taking care of people around us in one way or the other. And God will take the glory. And through the glory he receive from what we do, he will bless and sanctify the work of our hands.